Hello. Jihan, hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. I've uh, been great. It's uh, uh, third day of fasting month, Ramadan. So I'm doing great. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Very cool. And congratulations on the win. It was great to see you back in there. Thank you. I mean, what was that whole experience like for a, you know, a very big event, 1X, the 10-year anniversary show? What was the whole week like? Did it feel different? Um, it's actually like for the competition itself, of course, I feel proud because I'm like, you know, to be part of the 10 years anniversary of uh, one championship event. And um, for the fight camp itself, it's actually quite, um, how to say, chaotic actually, because like, I think like two weeks before uh, I went into Singapore, my uh, my one and only partner man got COVID, got pos tested positive uh, for COVID, and I had to go uh, into Singapore by myself, mm. and I didn't even know whether I have like partner man or like a partner to drill with or not, so I just like keep myself like positive, and then like thank God, uh, I think on two days or three days before the weigh-in he tested negative and everything goes well yeah well geez i'm sure that was kind of a little bit stressful not knowing right <laughs> yeah all right hey thankfully it all worked out though so i didn't have to worry yeah. but uh it was also kind of a quick turnaround for you right i mean you fought the month before so was that kind of what you wanted to fight so quickly after uh, the Yamaguchi fight? Oh man, it's actually uh, if let's say it's like it's the the decision is depend on me. I don't really want to fight in this event, <laughs> but my coach and my teammate just convinced me to to compete in this one because to be honest, right, I'm not really like up to date. Like, I didn't know, I didn't even know this one is 10 years anniversary. And then they told me, like, this one is, like, the biggest event <laughs> of, of like, of the year or and, and everything. And you have to go in. And I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, like, um, I didn't, like, like, rest for too long for the last match. So just, like, get back to the fight camp and, 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 and you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just got right back in there and got another win. But uh, it was funny. I was going to ask, you know, if it felt more special to you getting to be on the card because, you know, your whole pro career has practically been in one. I think just your debut was in a different promotion, but then every other fight was with one. But you just said you didn't even really know. So I'm sure I yeah. <laughs> didn't think about that. But maybe afterward, does it feel kind of more special? Um, It's actually, uh, it's one of the special you know, fights, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest fights also in my life, like in my whole career in one championship, because like for the previous fight against Mei Yamaguchi, it's actually quite controversy. They said like, I shouldn't, you know, like it should be expedition or it should be another way around. And like for this match is, to be honest, it's like not very important, but that is actually to like shut a lot of people mouth because of, you know, like they say like, I, I won by, by, you know, like lucky or something like that. But this match against like undefeated was, you know, undefeated fighter. And every fight that she had is like very impressive, you know, like uh, decision. And I totally shut people up. Yeah, hard to disagree with that. But you actually had people that were disagreeing with your your win over May. Because to me, that one seemed pretty like a great performance by you. And I, I can't see how she won it. But people were saying that. Thank you for being one of them. <laughs> but it's actually, yeah, I mean, like, I got a lot of, actually, like, you know, like, sometimes I cannot just avoid from, you know, uh, reading all the comments in YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Of course, like, there's a lot of, uh, like, fans, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, disagree with the decision. But then I know that I did very well. And even Maya Maguchi herself is like, she's not very happy with the decision. But then I still believe that I won. And then I asked a lot of like my coaches and some people like, you know, like training partners or from the other gym, like they all said that you have to like keep, you know, like believe in yourself. You did won the fight. Yeah. So. Yeah. It just kind of works as I guess some extra motivation, right? For the, the fight that comes afterward. Yeah.
Yeah. And I mean, as for that one, right. though, with uh, with Itsuki, another great win. I mean, having had some time now, you know, to kind of look back on it since it happened. Uh, how happy are you with that performance? Did it kind of go as you expected it to? Um, To be honest, for this fight camp, it's a bit like I told you, it's a bit carry and it's a bit like um, uh, stressful for me because like she's a judo car and you can see like all the takedowns rate is like 100%. Like she always go for a takedown and then she always success. And like it's a bit like, you know, like it's a, I believe in my techniques and my skills, but then it's just something that I have to be careful. Like because I never seen her in person and I um, and I see that, you know, like I, I analyze the fight and everything and then she's like very good. And but, you know, like I believe in my game plan, I believe in my coaches, I believe in my training partners that helped me a lot. So um, I for the fight camp I did like more than I more than expectation mm. like I give my hundred ten percent you know like give all and then like for the for the when 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 I was in the circle and what she gave to me and is like is like you know like hit the point and I'm I'm very I'm to be honest I'm very um, how to say. Uh, happy and i'm very excited because like everything that we've drilled everything that we've uh analyzed is like correct you know like everything is like on point and of course like before the fight she's been very cocky you know like she's say this and that and she said that i would I, I was unworthy opponent i know that that you know like it's just to hype just to bring the hype to the fight and maybe just to, to like break my uh, confidence but then I believe that you know she's a very kind person and just she just being cocky because she wants to gain uh, confidence but for me like I don't care about it and that's how it goes <laughs> yeah of course and I'm sure though that made it a little bit sweeter you know to be the first one to give her a loss at the same time <laughs> so yeah a little bit of first time, ice, yeah. <laughs> icing on the cake in a way so uh and it's funny jihan i think there were a lot of people though that were kind of uh bummed out to see that you didn't get to compete in the adam white grand prix that happened last year were you wanting to be a part of that um actually of course i wanted to be part of the grand prix but then like i remember my fight against uh killer b was an alternative for grand prix but I'm not sure what's happened, but then just like, you know, like some sometimes the things that you want is not meant to be for you. So you just have to let it be. So like for now, I already in the top five in the division. I think like there's more, you know, big, big match for me soon in future. Yeah, definitely. And obviously hope to get a title fight at some point, uh, which I think if you keep putting together the wins, it'll be there on a great winning streak now. And uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, Angela Lee obviously came back on that card and the headliner. I'm sure you saw the fight with Stamp. So uh, I got to ask, you know, what did you think of of, uh, of her win? I mean, crazy stuff there. Almost got finished in the first round. It was it was very crazy fight and uh, even before the fight there's a lot of into a uh, reporter asked me what my prediction over the fight now of course because they are in at the weight division so i have to like you know like study for them as well maybe in future they have they will be my opponent so i have to like you know like give some attention to that fight and i told them there's like 50 50 because Sam is very good in striking and angela is very good in you know like overall uh, BJJ MSA and for the first round I think if let's say Stam just keep the pace after the body shot I think she could she could finish the fight but you know like Angela of course you know that she's undefeated for I don't know undefeated she been uh, uh, what's that uh, she's undefeated in the division for the title belt over and over again and she did I'm I yeah she undefeated in at the week if not mistaken yeah so like of course she know what she's doing and I think because of the, you know, the eager to win, of of course, like, keep her going until the end of the first round. And for the second round, of course, you can see, like, STEM, like, uh, BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu MMA is kind of new thing for her. I think like, it's been three years or four years. But then she keep it up. Like, you know, like, she escaped and she didn't tap for the twister. It's like, do it twisted already like that and she didn't tap and for the triangle so she didn't tap but then she lost at the 
RNC, but you know, like it's very exciting and it's very tough fight. But you know, like maybe Stam could could win on the the in the future. Yeah, I know. We'll see. They're both still very young, so who knows if we'll see a rematch at some point. But uh, it was definitely crazy while it lasted. And uh, I mean, hey, maybe uh, Stamp could be your next opponent. Jihan, is that kind of something you you could see uh, happening? <laughs> I mean, you know, like for now, I mean, the top five, everything could happen, you know. But I don't think for now they would give me a Stamp Perek because like she's at number one mm. so maybe she could give they you know one championship could match me with like four eh, three top three four or even lower than me but then who knows just i have to keep myself active and keep learning new techniques new new things and just focus on the next match in future yeah, for sure. And I imagine that you wouldn't be against a, a rematch with Denise Zamboanga. I'm sure that's one you would like, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it could be, you know, like, um, but like, like, to be honest, if we, if we see our record, right, I in three streak, uh, winning streak, and she had lost two times right. uh, in, in the last streak. So, like, like you know, like, if they offer me that fight, of course, I, I would love to go and rematch and they give me another fight. So I would love to go for it. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. But uh, many options. So it's good to have options always. And yeah. uh, as for who did beat her, though, was Sohi Ham. Uh, obviously, those last two fights, and she was on the card as well when they did have their rematch. I'm sure you caught that one as well. What did you uh, make of Ham getting the win? Looks like she'll be next for Angela. Yeah, so, like, my opinion for this fight, Denise Zamboga started very well. She's very aggressive at first. But then I think Sohi Ham, she had... She has more experience in MMA, you know, like she has a lot of fight. She's been she's been uh, in UFC before and she know how to play the game. So I think experience beat this time. Yeah, she's definitely I've been around for quite some time. I want to say about 2007 ish, maybe. Hum's definitely a, you know, a serious pioneer. So uh, yeah. she's going to have that advantage over a lot of people. But uh, I was I was still in primary school at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep, she's the old lady of the division, but still going on strong. So uh, it's cool to see. But um, yeah. as for you, Jihan, yeah, I mean, you are still very young in the sport. So uh, it's crazy to see how successful you've been so far. And I mean, you know, in the top five and getting closer to that title shot, like we mentioned. So for you, I mean, like, ideally, how soon do you want to fight for the title? Is it like you want to get there as soon as you can? Or you're like, I'm fine with being slow about it. To be honest, like, I don't mind to go slow. Like, if, if if you follow me for a long time, I mean, like, since I debuted in one championship, you know that I never, uh, you know, like, for now, I never uh, deny or decline any fight offers. If, let's say, there's, like, like for the past two years, it's, it's been a lockdown. So, like, maybe I had, like, three, two times I, I had called it off. But for me... Um, I think I like to take it like slow pace because for now I just got into top top five and I think I have to prove myself more to be you know like like to deserve to fight in title match. Right, definitely. And you have plenty of time to do so. So there's no need to, to rush, like you said. But uh, I mean, you have yeah. had plenty of experience, Jihan. I mean, going back years and years ago. So like, how did you get into MA in the first place? What kind of uh led you to this path <laughs> it was very funny started start actually like because i was in high school i just like trying to find new hobby and then after three months of training i just like you know like simply go and sign up for muay thai fight and i lost but you know like after after i got the feeling in the ring and then i feel like i want to try more and then when i was i think 16 and then I was still under under underage the time, and then there's like amateur MMA event nearby here, and they don't have enough female fighters, and then I just like go and sign up myself, and I get to cheat 
about my age. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and until now, yeah, I, yeah, actually, the the you know like the encouragement of my family, my coaches, uh, you know, like my teammates also is like been one of the things that make me go until now. And you know, like to have a good you know team behind me, it it's it's very it's very you know like make it smooth. Yeah, well, I mean, I wanted to mention that to you, Jihin, because you're like, I think it's fair to say that you're the best female fighter in MMA from Malaysia. So, I mean, like, that's a pretty, pretty big and cool honor to have, I think. So, like, is that something that's important to you to proudly represent your country yeah. like that? Um, Like, for now, like, MMA in Malaysia after lockdown, it's, like, been very bad. Like, not many people know about uh, MMA. Not not very. Not many people follow the news about MMA. And to be one of the, you know, like fighter who active in one championship in MMA is like been very, you know, like honor for me because I have like I bring combat sport and I'm a female and I bring to uh, you know, like the 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 world. Like it's not only Asia know me. It's like mostly like most of the countries know me already and they know that I'm from Asia and the only female fighters that are active in MMA. That is, it's very, it's very, uh, you know, like, uh, kind of, how to say, like, it's very, one of the things that keep me going also mm. to represent my country. So, I mean, what would it mean for you to become the first Malaysian champion? Is that like a dream, oh a dream come God. true? <laughs> it is like for now i'm not that far from the title belt like you know like i'm in the rank number five it's gonna be like a big a huge news if i want the title you know fight so one day one day <laughs> yes yes we'll get there slowly but surely of course so <laughs> one step at a time but uh, until then, Jihan could talk MMA all day. But of course, I want to ask you about uh, your cats because you are the shadow cat. And I love the headphones, by the way. Obviously, a very popular <laughs> symbol. But I'm curious, just how many cats do you have, Jihan? Because uh, I've, I've seen a little bit of them on your Instagram. Um, but how many are we working with here? <laughs> so I, I have six cats. At home and six cat at the gym. I oh, show wow. you one of them. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> <laughs> There's the This is good. the oldest one. Okay. This is uh yeah the, this one um who has been here since the day one. He watched me <laughs> compete all the time and he very famous too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very pretty eyes. Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It looks like you just woke up from okay. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny though. So tw yeah. twelve cats in total, Jihin. Jeez, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think because like um I think after I graduate high school and then I uh I before my results came out and then I just like doing part time at the vet clinic, which is I still working now and then after that i think that i i i, I wanted to have more cat as you know like i like so that's why <laughs> <laughs> of course i mean it's a great nickname shadow cat so like how did did you give yourself the nickname or yes. was it somebody that gave it to you no no my coach melvin yo he very famous at giving people nicknames and I remember I was preparing for my um, uh, amateur, it was an uh, amateur um, MMA fight. It's a uh, um, Malaysia invasion mixed martial arts, if you heard of it before. And I was preparing for the fight and the organizer, they asked me whether I have nickname or not. And then they wanted to like, you know, like to, for me to have one nickname. And then I was wearing all black and I was playing with that cat, Teddy. And then... <laughs> Suddenly, my coach like, I know what to call you, Shadow Cat. <laughs> and at first, of course, I'm not very happy with that name because I thought I'm going to be like pretty something <laughs> or be something. <laughs> and and everywhere I go, every event that I go, they just, if they don't know my name, they just call, they just call me like Kitty, Cat, Shadow Cat. 
and that's how it stick to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, especially if you're walking around with the headphones on. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, yes, very good. It works. It fits. So it's something that we can all remember you by. So <laughs> I think it's a good one. But yeah. uh, I mean, as aside yeah. from uh, combat sports and, and cats, uh, Jihan, what are some other like hobbies and activities that you're really interested in? Are you a big sports person in general? Do you like video games? <sighs> like, what are you into? Um, like, like to be honest, I don't really have a hobby. Like, my daily routine is I go to work, or and then after that I come to the gym, training, or like just spending time with my cat. And for like this year, I just picking up. Uh, horse riding hmm. it was very hard but then I tried to like be I like to be around animals so I tried to be like you know like go here and there and try to to to, to learn something new of course so I mean I just pick up horse riding and yeah. I'm not very good at it <laughs> <laughs> hey you got, gotta try right practice makes perfect you'll get it down <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> I mean, is that something you think that if you never got into fighting, you'd be kind of uh, doing a bunch of animal stuff, or what would what would you think you'd be doing instead? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think when I was, a, you know, like when I was small, so I, I was thinking to become a vet. Like I love animals. Like I love to be around animals. Like especially cats. But I think if I'm not fighting uh, soon, or you know, like if I never like get involved in combat sports, I think I would be like a cat trainer, <laughs> cat uh, groomer, or something. <laughs> right. You could join competitions and uh, win some some prizes with the the cats <laughs> doing tricks and stuff. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, uh, but we don't have to think about that now as the fighting is going pretty well, so you don't have to worry. But, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. all right, Jihan, I won't keep you any longer. I appreciate you taking the time so much. But before I let you go, I am just curious though, like you just had the two quick fights, like a month between, like we were talking about. So when are you kind of hoping to get back in there next? You want to take a little bit of a break or when are you thinking for when you want to fight again? Um. Uh -huh. Actually, um, like for I even now I'm not in rest, you know. Like I I will be represent uh, represent. Suddenly I cannot speak. I will be uh representing my country Malaysia for Sea Games in kickboxing, and it's in next month. Yeah, in May. So actually I'm not in rest. Like to be back in the circle one championship, I think like after this match, I think I would. Maybe give a break for one month and then, you know, like go for a fight. I would love to be as active as I can for this year because I've been, you know, laid off for two years mm -hmm. uh, due to lockdown. So, of course. Yeah, making up for some time. So, all right. I wish you the best of luck with uh, that upcoming uh, performance then as you got got no time to waste. So, <laughs> all right, Jihan. Well, uh, I will let you yeah. get on with the rest of your day then. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time so much. It was really fun getting in chat with you. And uh, we could talk about cats all day. Mine's actually, he's, he's sleeping on the floor right now. <laughs> I'd pick him up, but he's he's like 20 pounds. He's very You old. have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. But uh, <laughs> Overweight. Yes, he's a chunky boy. So, <laughs> all right, Jihan, I will let you get on with your day. Thank you so much. And congr congratulations again on the big win against Itsuki. Great stuff there. And uh, look forward to seeing you Thank back. Thank you. Thank you for your time also. Of course. Thank you.